this is as incons- inconsistent we've ever seen Tom Brady, ever. And I am so loath to do anything other than just have firm belief in him because every time he's ever been doubted, any time that's ever been saying that's it, that's enough, he's proven that that's not it and that's not enough. All that I want to know, because everybody, last Sunday, yesterday, we just talked about it, everybody's going to start chiming in on what Brady should do in the future. Everybody's going to start chiming in on that. And the only thing that matters is what does Tom Brady think of the play that he's undertaking right now? He did fumble the ball yesterday, and he threw a pick in the second half. We talked about it at the very top. The second half was a turnover on downs, an interception, two fumbles, an interception, and a punt. And then a touchdown at the end that just made it a little closer. That was the second half. They're up 17-0. The defense lets... Joe Burrow get a a quick three right before the half. They turn it over on downs to start the second half, and then that's when the roof comes, caves in. One of those was a fake punt. Giovanni Bernard is just not on the same page, miscommunication, whatever you want to call it, right? It's just a typical thing for the Bucs where they're doing just enough and they're doing better than what you think is just enough. And then something happens. Yeah, but holding penalty, interception, fumble here. Guy runs the wrong way. Brady throws it behind somebody. That's usually the part of the when things don't work out for Brady that you don't see. And so what does Tom think about it? That's all that's going to matter. What does Tom think about it? Does he think he could? Because you still see the ball velocity. You still see it come out. Arm, arm neck up, still there, man. Neck up's no problem. Shoulder strength, no problem. Accuracy, occasionally a problem. So if you're Tom Brady, you got to sit here and think to yourself. Long term, obviously, they're still in first place at six and eight. Unbelievable. As Carolina and Atlanta both lost, it's the Saints who won yesterday to get a little bit closer. But as we all know. The Bucks swept the Saints, so that's no that's no skin off of there's there's no sweating. New Orleans coming that close, right? It's Carolina who I think they have the sweat the most because Carolina's already beaten them. The Bucks have already beaten the Falcons, so the Panthers. That's who's that's who they're sweating. So as the Bucks head off to Arizona to take on either Colt McCoy or Trace McSorley. <laughs> Laugh all you want, but that's the know, that's a Christmas just, game. He's got to sit there it. and just say, seven and eight, we can do this. I can do this. I've got a home playoff game. Let's see what we can do this year. But in terms of the next year, he's got to sit around and think to himself, how do I like the way I'm playing? Because if he sits there and he thinks to himself, I could still sling it. I know my Fox contract is still sitting there. All I need is a better offensive line and a system that suits me a little bit better. I don't know. I mean, all you hear is that he's handling the system. I don't know, because Evans and Godwin are pretty damn good. And then, of course, there's got to be a team that will raise their hand and say, yes, we will either abandon our plan or postpone our plan at quarterback to bring Tom Brady in at age 46. We'll do it. Which team's going to do it? You hear the rumors. It's going to be San Francisco, regardless of what Brock Purdy does. Because Tom's got to, having having left San Francisco and seeing them first up close and personal, go, I'll take Trent Williams. I'll take McCaffrey. He'd never I'll be take touched. Ayuk. I'll take Kittle. I'll take Debo. I'll take so on and so forth. I'll take that defense. I'll take this fan base. I'll take being close to home. I'll do it. I don't think Tom's – if the 49ers are game, Tom's not okay. stopping because you could see how he's playing, yeah. right? You hear Vegas, Derek Carr is not really their guy, and there's so many rumors. They will be flying. They will be flying. But it really only matters, what is Tom Brady when he's looking at the film? What does he think in his heart of hearts? Does he think in his heart of hearts he can make another move in free agency 
and win it in the first year just like he did in Tampa. Because this is not a long-term plan. I, I don't imagine he wants to play till he's 48, 49, or 50. Maybe he does. I, I, you put nothing past him. The number of conversations you are going to be hearing in sports talk, certainly as Brady struggles, I mean, you are going to be hearing it. Oh, he should quit. Oh, he should. Nonsense. It's really what does he think? When he looks at the film and he knows, man, I, I saw the throw. I made it. My guy was there. I, I missed it. And I keep missing it more. Do I want to keep playing if I'm not going to be as accurate and be as consistent as I know I can be or used to be? He might be like, screw it. I don't want to do that anymore. He's third in passing yards. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's, it's not like he's not falling off a cliff, but he's not nearly as consistent and certainly winning as we're used to seeing. Right. And does that bother him enough to say I'm done? And I'll go start calling games, and I'll still be around it wondering, should I have done it again? You know, I think that's really what's at stake here. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.